Vlog Pinnell's back, and today we're gonna do my Instagram Q&A. I asked you guys for questions on Instagram, and you answered. So today, we're gonna go over a few of my favorites that I thought you guys would enjoy hearing the answers to. Number one, what's the best advice to someone who is brand new to the game of lacrosse? If you're brand new to the game of lacrosse, I would say the number one thing to, to focus on is your stick skills. Wall ball should be your best friend. Having the stick, sitting on your couch, just cradling back and forth, right? Just doing simple stuff like that. Like this right here, I'll show you. So when I was younger, I used to have my stick in the house and I used to just sit in front of the TV and watch and I used to just practice switching hands back and forth, cradling, okay? Maybe throw a couple fakes in there, but just get used to that stick being in your hands, the ball being in the stick. Now, if you're new to lacrosse, the more time that you can spend with this stick in your hands, the better off you're gonna be. You need to make this stick like it's your third arm. Just there, hanging, right? Just part of your body wherever you go. The more comfortable you can get, the better off you're gonna be. Question number two. How old were you when you started working out with weights? So I was a little late to the weight game. I didn't start lifting weights seriously till my junior year of high school. I was young, I was a late bloomer, I matured late, so I waited and put it off so that when I was ready to do it, I was gonna be able to commit to it, do it consistently, and it wasn't gonna affect me in any other areas. Question number three, if you could live anywhere other than New York, where would you live? Uh, I've been out to LA a few times, been out to Manhattan Beach, it's one of my favorite places in the world. So I would say if I wasn't living in New York, I would probably go out there and live uh, just outside of LA on one of the beach, beach cities right there, which are amazing places, great places to live. Not to mention the weather is beautiful. Question number four, the biggest struggle I've had in lacrosse. Uh, I would say the biggest struggle I had in lacrosse was not getting recruited in high school. It was as someone who dreamed to play lacrosse at, in Division I and, and compete for a national championship. When that dream didn't seem like it was realistic, that was emotionally, it was hurt, it was very stressful and I wasn't being recruited. Um, but I stayed persistent, I stayed playing, I stayed continuing to work on my game. Uh, and I did what I had to do to, to eventually uh, be fortunate enough to have Cornell give me a chance. Number five, can you post your workout routine? So I do post most of, some of my workout routines on Instagram. I, also on Instagram, there is an account at L-I-V Fit, F-I-T 30. L-I-V F-I-T 30, Live Fit 30. And that's where I post routines with my workout partner, Brian Mazza. How do you feel like the post-grad year you took in high school helped your athletic career? So I took a post-grad year for you guys that don't know at Deerfield Academy, and this really helped me in maturing, getting used to being away from home, so that when I went to Cornell, it was easy, and I was able to hit the ground running there. Um, but I was able to, to really, in my post-grad year, also focus on working out, which was great. So I was able to put on some muscle um, and some size, which helped me in my play. Uh, so it was just an extra year for me to mature, for my body to develop, which when you're going into college sports, it's a big difference from high school to college. So that post-grad year was instrumental in, in allowing me to be successful as a freshman at Cornell. Also, I was young. I graduated high school, I was 17 years old with a December birthday. So that post-grad year basically put me where I should have been, which is in the right year, right class, you know, at Cornell. How did Owen Moy get his job with you? That would be the coolest job out there. Well, I guess Owen can determine if he likes his, can tell you if he likes his job or not. But Owen, to his credit, messaged me on Instagram, said he wanted to shoot some video with me. He came to New York, we started shooting some content, he gained some games on the road, started putting some highlights together. He decided that we were gonna make a YouTube channel and that he was gonna be my go-to guy. So, Owen went out there and got it. So for all you guys out there, right, be aggressive, go out there, you don't get, you don't get anything that you don't ask for. So he asked and he got it and now we're having a lot of fun together shooting some awesome content that hopefully you guys are enjoying. What is your diet? Great question. So I'm gonna do another vlog in this, but I do intermittent fasting, which is not eating from 8 p.m. to 12 noon the next day. So for those 16 hours, I don't eat, and I do all my eating from 12 noon to 8 p.m. where I eat lunch, have a midday snack, dinner, maybe another snack, but at 8 p.m. I stop eating. There's a few reasons I do this, but I'll talk about that 
in another vlog. What was it like representing your country and bringing home the gold? Playing for Team USA and bringing home the gold was a dream come true for me and it was the number one thing at the top of my lacrosse list. So to do that, I can retire, I can end my career happy, not that I'm retiring, but I can end my career a happy man and be content with what I've done in my lacrosse career because number goal, winning gold with Team USA was number one for me and it was awesome to do it with an amazing group of guys, an amazing coaching staff over in Israel. Uh, unbelievable experience and it means everything to me, but who knows, maybe I'll be going for my second gold medal in 2022. I'll be a little old though. Next question, non-lacrosse related. What was your favorite thing about being in Israel? Well, non-lacrosse related, I don't know if that counts being with the team and the guys, because that's the best part, is just being around everybody. Other than that, I would say the food. I'm a big fan of hummus, and there was hummus everywhere. The food was fresh, it was clean. I ate right, and I could feel the difference. I felt great. Everything was awesome. Unbelievable food over in Israel, that Mediterranean style cuisine, which I love. What is my favorite part about playing professional lacrosse? Hands down, the locker room. I love just being with the guys, right? It's not about being on the field or in practice, but just hanging out in the locker room, getting to know guys, having fun, having a lot of laughs, spending time together. Um, there's every guy that plays in the league is a great guy, and uh, just whether or not you know them well or not, or get a chance to know them. So it's all about that. And every guy, every team says they have a great locker room, and it's true. Every team does, and. Uh, you know, to each team, it's, it's, it is to each team what it is. And uh, it's really special part about the MLL is that, you know, we are able to get together on the weekend, spend time together, and, and we really take advantage of that time spent together. And that's all I've got for today. So I'm gonna follow up with an intermittent fasting vlog. I'm also gonna follow up with what the biggest mistake you can make in the gym is. So stay tuned for some more vlog panels coming your way. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in, you guys are the best. Have a great rest of your day.